Hi friends and welcome back to another episode of our Fairy Court Let's Play. I have been up to a little bit between episodes, <laughs> just a little bit. Uh, first of all, I got my first mushroom girl and I picked her up and put her in a bed so she's just chilling there at the moment and we still have our fruity mandrake and trash as well. I also tried again to find another llama. Could not find one anywhere. But it did mean that, oh, I'll go outside so the map looks a little bit normal. It did mean that I did quite a bit of exploring. Um, so sorry I explored without you guys. Um, but yeah, so I was down this area because it, where, here is where I've already searched. And then I kind of just kept going around. And we now have another waypoint down in the desert. I think maybe down here. But. It got a bit scary and I died because <laughs> there's like these like sandstorm things that are like little cyclones of sand. It's really creepy. Um, and I did find a f oh my god no 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 uh, I pressed the wrong button. Damn it! <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'll have to fix that in a second. But yeah, as I was saying, I, um, found- No, not another one! No, why? Oh, no, my little mushroom. Where are all of these coming from? Are they all down here? No, because it's lit up down there. Oh my god. My poor house. <laughs> <laughs> We're off to a great start today. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> I found a fairy down in the Mesa um, Badlands down there. And I tried to put it in an ender pearl and then realized it needs to be an eye of ender and I don't have blaze powder, obviously. So I'm not sure if we're going to go to the nether today. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but first I better fix this giant doll. Oh my god, wait. There's two fairy dragons behind us. Hello? I haven't um, done any of the fairy dragon stuff yet. Oh my gosh. There's two of them. Hi, maple fairy dragons. How cute! <gasps> Look how cute they are! Oh my god, I definitely need all of the colours. There's a few butterflies around. Oh, everything's just so cute. While I was exploring as well, I have um, collected quite a few of the flower fox um, seed pod things. So we might have to do that soon as well. But first of all, I might fix this hole and I'll be right back! Okay, the grass is still growing in, but that's... A bit better. I can't exactly remember how this went, so now it looks a little bit different, but that's fine. <laughs> I also moved our death cap little mushroom friend up here. It's technically a pocket pet and it does occasionally move, but I don't that's that's all it really does, I think. <laughs> we also have a front door mat as well, which is really cute. If you can think of something funny to write on it, um put it down below in the comments because my brain was not working and I couldn't think of anything. So that's why it just says that. Um, <laughs> nothing else has changed in here other than the fact I've started digging out this tunnel. Please ignore the mess. Oh, I also have cocoa beans now, which is exciting, which means we can make cookies because that's kind of important for some of the other um, mods and taming the monster girls and stuff, I think. Or I don't know. It's I need it for something. Um, I've then left space here to push back those for more rooms as well as these areas, obviously. Um, or they could just be like little hallways to then branch off into other things if we want to. Uh, so yeah, that's all that's really different up here. But if we go down this way, I have built a staircase all the way down to bedrock. And I came across this huge cave like right below our base. So that's pretty cool. Um, we'll go down. I've lit it up a little bit. But there's just like so many ores and different crystals and stuff down here. 
so there's like yeah just lots of normal ores but then there's like this black one which is black corundum um which is cool there's a bit more onyx and then heaps of this yellow one as well which was pretty random yellow yeah yellow corundums Cor am i saying that corundum <laughs> i don't know <laughs> but then there's also like another mine shaft like right here if i can get up that would be a good so i haven't explored the mine shaft at all um so yeah i guess i can do that a little bit quickly while we're here <laughs> um it'd be cool to find some loot because i would like some more of the fey wild crystal gems to trade with the dwarf guy um to level him up because I still haven't gone back to that guy so that would be really cool um good thing about all these crystals is that they light this area up a lot um which is really helpful so that there's not really too many mo oh. <laughs> wrong one too many mobs um yeah but it's a pretty big mine shaft except it's hard to get around because there's like a thousand crystals which I'm not complaining I'm not complaining they're really pretty and they light it up and they have cool particle effects too which is pretty cool this cave is a little bit weirdly generated but that's fine so yeah I didn't even realize this was like all under my base oh chest right there okay cool Yes, that's what I'm after. Okay. Uh, everything else is pretty standard, but that's fine. Ooh. Or scenting. I have no idea what that is. All right, so I might have a little look around here, and I'll come back if I find anything cool. That's the one we just did. Yeah, okay. It's like immediately after saying I would come back, I found a zombie spawner. So that's pretty cool. Let's have a look what's in here. Yeah, I mean, I'll take it all. I might need to put some stuff in my backpack already. Um, just like everything, I guess. <laughs> Name tag. So we've got quite a few name tags already, which is really cool. Let me know down in the comments if you think I should make a zombie XP spawner, which is like directly below my base, or if I should go back over to the skeleton spawner and use that one um, instead. Because I really would like an XP sort of farm of sorts, because I'm going to need levels for enchanting. I didn't really have to light this up because all of these, I think, make it bright enough anyway, but I just wanted to, just in case, so I think all of these ores have grown. I'm not sure if it's just because I've been hanging out obviously up in my base or if it's because they're in the spawn chunks and they might grow if they're in the spawn chunks. I'm not 100% sure. One way I have gotten a little bit of XP after my first death um, has been trading with the goblin trader which has been really good. I've got a randomonium ore. I have the right pickaxe this time. <laughs> Let's give it a go is that oh a horn oh gazelle horn random okay that is really strange but that's fine I'm not sure what I need those for just found another minecart chest lots of rope a few more of the gems though so that's really exciting a blue bomb no idea what that does that's cool nothing else oh no yep nothing down there I was just going to go this way. I think I'm going around in circles now. I think I've already been here. This mine shaft is quite confusing. Oh, okay. Just, oh, what? Oh, I think it was just glow lichen. <laughs> that confused me. Yeah, these caves are all super weird. Doesn't look like we've been anywhere this way.
thank you to the person who also um, recommended I download the um, pet bed mod. What's it called? Uh, domestication, I think it is. So um, I have installed that. So thank you so much if that was you. And that also means that copper has another use because you can use those for name tags, which is pretty cool. Okay, I think I might try and find my way out of here and I'll meet you all back at my staircase. I'm still lost down in the mineshaft, but I did just find another random Onia more. And it's some leaves, I think. Yep, cherry birch leaves, okay. <laughs> A random. <laughs> this part is less lit up, um, so I'm sort of just going around doing that. And it opens up into some random caves. I did come across a spider, cave spider spawner as well, which I don't love, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, is that an, oh, it's another one. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh my God. I think I've done it. Am I back out? Where are my steps? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was so lost for like so long just then. Oh, they're really cute. I'll take you. Um, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> got totally distracted there. That bit's definitely not lit up enough. So yeah, these caves aren't fully lit up, but they should be safe enough, I think, for now. And where's my big staircase? There it is. Okay. So one other thing I worked on in between episodes was obviously the staircase. And that goes now all the way down to bedrock. I did come across a couple of extra caves here and there. Like there's a little, little cave there. Nothing too exciting. But I did find this huge blob of diamonds and I'm slowly growing some diamond growths some diamond crystals <laughs> so that's really exciting they're not growing on this side for some reason I'm not sure whether that that's not happening but that's all right um yeah oh hey good little buddy is this the same one I had before no this is a different one okay don't think I have anything I can trade you right now I guess you can have some raw iron. I don't really need any flint. But yeah, so that's all I've really been up to in between episodes. So today I think we're going to have to get started on enchanting. I it, it took me, you don't even want to know how long it took me to dig all of this out with unenchanted iron um, like, uh, tools. It was pretty painful. <laughs> um, so we're going to turn one of the rooms that are already finished up here into an enchanting room. Probably this one. I have already got a few bookshelves together, which is cool. Oh, take a quick nap and empty my pockets and we'll get started. Okay, so I don't have anything planned. Just kind of winging this. <laughs> So we'll start with obviously our bookshelves and our enchanting table. Oh, I still have a few of that. That's handy to know. Okay. So if I'm putting it maybe against the back wall, then that will be there. I'm so excited to see how these different bookshelf types turn out. One of the recipe things wasn't working, which is annoying, but the rest of them seem pretty cute. And do like a mixture of different ones. I think this one's got yeah, cute little flowers and stuff. So cute. Okay. Um do maybe like that one there. Oh, that's two in a row. Oh no, I don't have silk touch. <gasps> okay. 
Oh, okay. I guess because they're modded that works. <laughs> I might put a barrel there actually. And then do a different one up the top. Maybe the spider web. Yeah, we'll do that. And then that one there. That one there. Now is that gonna be 30 levels? Yeah. Awesome. Ooh, fortune. So go grab oh, I have to craft a barrel, I think. We'll pop that there and then we'll do some decorations around. Do I need this one? No, I don't. Awesome. Okay, we might leave it like that then. I will place a few lights around just so nothing spawns. But I think I might put some chiseled bookshelves down the back corners maybe um to double as like a bit of a library so i guess i'll make those now as well so if i craft a few more slabs oh why do you think i needed slabs for those okay <laughs> never mind actually i could just put them like that maybe just sort of hide them Um, hmm. Or. I'm thinking. Because <laughs> I could do that and then have one facing the other way, maybe? And go like that. Yeah, that could be cute. Okay. So if I replace this one just with a block. Oops, <laughs> did not mean to do it that way. And I guess I should be using my axe. Might be quicker. Yeah, okay. And then I can store, I think, just, nope. Okay, they don't work in that, that's fine. What about these ones? Yeah. Cool. So I've got a few decorations, but I need to decide what sort of lighting I want to put in here. Hmm. Um, oh, I might sleep quickly. We're going to have heaps more lighting options when we get access to glowstone, but I haven't obviously done that yet. So for now, I guess if I grab... Maybe some candles. Because um, that would be cute as well. Obviously that's not much, if any, light. Yeah, no, that's still quite dark. <laughs> um, what else then? Pop another one there, just because they are cute and a bit spooky. I like it. I've also got like some little jars, which I think you can put stuff in, but I just didn't have anything to put in them at the moment. And then also these like stacked books. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's so cute. Okay, uh, glowberries maybe? And then if we put a few more, maybe over here. Okay, well let's start. <laughs> I still don't have 30 levels though, so I can't enchant like to the fullest yet. Um, what else can we do in here? We'll probably have some other magic-y bits and pieces that we'll need to put around. Um, I'll put these books in the chest I think for now 
Maybe a little painting up in the corner. Um, sticks. Where did I put my sticks? I think they're in my backpack. Yep. Make... Oh no wait, I need wool. I have to go get some more wool soon. If I make just a little painting. I can pop that. Maybe... Oh, <laughs> it's going to be a long one. No! I don't think I can get it without breaking. Yeah. <laughs> and try it. <laughs> oh, hey Alex. <laughs> Why is this so hard right now? Oh, that one's really cute. Okay, we'll do that. And then put the jars back. And also the glow bricks. I'll have to make them glow later. <laughs> cute. So it's a little bit awkward because there's just like these little walkways, but I don't think it's too bad. And then we'll probably put some other like furniture or other magic sort of items around. Okay, I really want to enchant soon, but I don't have the levels. So one thing I do want to do quickly is if I have a look on the map, this um, dwarf structure thing looks really close to just like the outside of this mountain around the other side. So I'm thinking if we go over there, we can probably just dig into it and have a look. Looks like it's getting dark. Uh, I think I have my bed on me, so we should be okay. Oh, I can't get over how cute the dragons are. <laughs> Some little rain ASMR. Whoa, there's another three here? Why is there so many dragons? Wow, okay. Was not expecting that. <laughs> and then some more ducks. And more raccoons. The sunflower fields are pretty cute. Oh my gosh, it's a ferret! Oh, it's sleeping! <gasps> That's so cute! Okay, so I think if we kind of dig in over here. So maybe here? Yeah, I think this might be an okay spot. Okay, I can hear something now. That's... Yeah, okay. Must be getting closer. Ooh, okay. Um, how can I safely get in there and try and kill some of the mobs <laughs> without dying? Ooh! Not like that. Okay. I think I need my bow and arrow. Even though it's gonna die, so I have to be careful. Yep. Oh, no thank you. Do I just make a run for it? Try and light the place up. This is so exciting. I haven't been in one of these before. Okay. That should be good, I think. I don't hear any more mobs. So I've got some cute little statues. <laughs> Is there any actual dwarves in here? Oh, doesn't look like it. That's annoying. Ooh, I'll take that. You can keep your saplings. 
This is so cool. There's like tools on the walls. Lots of barrels. That minecart is weird. <laughs> Why so many gloves? I mean, I'll take the pickaxes. Ooh, diamonds. Okay. What is. <gasps> Fey gem ore. That's really pretty. I don't think I want to mine it without silk touch because that looks really cool. We've got some diamonds here and they're at 100% so that is awesome. What else we got? Whoa! More diamonds! So exciting! Oh that's so cool! Such a cool build. There's like candles. I don't want to destroy the room too much. I was really hoping there'd be a dwarf trader guy in here. Such a cool structure though. That's really, I, I really like it. All right. Well, I guess that's that. I can leave the little walkway in the wall over here so that we can come back if we need to later. And for now, I think I might teleport back over to the dwarf trader that we've got um, to see if we can, yeah, level him up a little bit more. Oh, hey. Oh my god, you're so cute. I have to figure out what you like to eat and tame you. Okay, unfortunately, I need a rabbit to tame it. And I don't think I have any rabbit. I'll double check when I get back, but yeah, rubber meat. I don't have any of that, I don't think. <laughs> I did see some rabbits on my travels when I was trying to find the llama, but I didn't murder any of them, unfortunately. <laughs> Ooh, I want to, um, you commented saying that I need to feed a um, clam to the otter to see if it gives me a pearl, so I'm going to have to try that in a minute as well. That would be pretty cute, actually. Let me just quickly grab my clams. I do have a few, I think. But yeah, I don't think I have any rabbit. No, don't think so. But I do have a few clams. Oop, did not mean to do that. So where did that otter go? Probably back in the water. Oh no, there he is. Hey little buddy, do you want a clam? Oh my god you do! And a good pearl, that's so cool! Did it eat all four? So are you like my friend now or can are you like, no you just, you just ate my clams. Okay that's fine, you do you. <laughs> Okay, now if I go teleport over to our dwarf friend. Oh, sorry, the frame rate is dropping a little bit here. <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, oh, so all of them have unlocked. Interesting. I don't have many um, gems, though. Can I craft these back down into the smaller ones? No. Okay, that's fine. Um, so I've got five. <laughs> oh, but I can sell. Yeah, okay. Gotcha. I will be right back with some ores. Okay, so I don't have a whole lot of gold, but we'll do that. And you can take as much of that as you want. So then we can afford another diamond pick. And I guess I'll buy torches? Are you gonna... No? Is that all he's gonna trade? I thought he had more levels to go. Hmm. <laughs> okay, never mind. Um, yeah, I thought he had more trades to unlock, but I guess he's... He doesn't have a bar there. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you for the torches, I guess. 
Um, spawn point. Okay. One other thing I did want to do actually is another one of you in the comments. You guys are just so helpful in the comments, by the way. Um, told me that if I grab my bone meal and head over to my little mandrake spot, whoop, that I can bone meal one of the mandrakes over there. So these little ones that are the monsters and girls ones. Oh, adorable. Okay. So do I need to tame her then as well? Even though I just grew her? Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So now we have another little mandrake. So she's similar to the fruity mandrake, but just not fruity, I guess. <laughs> All right. So, oh, and she's giving me strength. That's cool. Yeah, I think she'll follow and then teleport when I get closer. Okay, so I have to remember how to make that sitting bed thing. Or I could make just an actual pet bed, I guess, now. So let's quickly figure out how to do that. You can come in. Thank you. <laughs> so... Uh, is it a pet bed? Um, yeah, okay. So, I need a bone, some planks, and oh, I should have got wool while I was over there. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with some wool. I have some bones and I have a wood that I stashed in there. <laughs> so I can now make pet beds. Not 100% sure how to use them, but we'll give it a go. So Will you like come over to the pet bed? No? I'm just gonna run away. Um Alright, we'll try you. No, not wandering, follow. Follow me over here. And you can have some food. You want some food? Um, okay, what if you sit, oh, okay, yeah, I saw Z's then, I think that's a thing. So where did you go? Can you come this way? I think I can use the pet birds with are you gonna sleep? Okay, I clicked on her. Yeah. So are you staying there now? I think so. No, you're not. Okay. I might still then need one of the red thingies. Did I make any spares of those? I thought I might have. Maybe not. A station carpet. Um, station carpet needs... oh that's right, nuggets. Okay. Sorry I did make a spare one. Oh well. I'm sure I'll find it as soon as I finish crafting another one. <laughs> Can you go on the carpet? There we go. Awesome. So I guess it's time to go have a look at the nether. I am really, really, really scared. <laughs> um, I'll put away a few bits and pieces. 
Do I just do a normal? Oh, actually, my boots broke. Oh, cause oh yeah, that's okay. Cause furnishing's fine. What else do I need? I'm feeling pretty underprepared to go into the Nether, but that's fine. Where should I build the Nether portal? That's a good question. <laughs> um. Hmm. It'll just be a temporary one. I don't think I'm going to be getting attached to it. So I might just put it down here for now, maybe. Um, so we just do something like this. I think that'll be OK. Something like that. I've never been into a modded nether, so I'm pretty scared. I'm definitely not prepared, but we'll just have a just have a little sneak peek. <laughs> um, OK. If it's a safe bone, we could probably mine quartz for XP. Oh, oh my gosh, no. Are you serious? We're literally just floating. Oh my god, what is that? Okay, this is probably the worst spawn ever. Like, how am I supposed to get anywhere? Is that... Oh my god, I need one of those Firefox things. They are so cute. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's just get out of here. Nope. That's a hard no for me. Um, okay. I might take the nether portal down. <laughs> this is going to take a while. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I picked up all that obsidian. I'm thinking now if I teleport somewhere further away and try again. So yeah, I'm thinking I might go over to the savannah area. <sighs> Makes me sad that I have to use a level, but that's all right. Um, I want to get down onto sea level to make sure I don't float up in the sky again, <laughs> I guess. So, oh, what's that over there? Or is it just... Oh, okay. I thought it was something cute, but never mind. Well, I mean, they are cute, but nothing... Uh, we've already seen those, I mean. So... Oh, we're still up quite high. 68. Or oh, 67. Alright, this will have to do. So, we'll try again. <laughs> Sucks that I can't have a cute nether spawn at our spawn point. That was a horrible nether spawn. I did not like that at all. <laughs> um, I think my flint and steel is there. So yeah, hopefully we're far enough away now that this might be a different nether spawn. Please? Oh no. Oh, are you serious? No, 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 no. Why aren't I running? Okay, well at least this is a better nether spawn. We just have to avoid the ghasts. I definitely have on gold. Yes, okay. And I can get glowstone powder. Yay! That's exciting. We'll get some of this and we may as well get some quartz as well. So I'm pretty sure I need glowstone powder for a lot of the nightlight mod. Um, stuff, so that's cool. Ooh, is that growing? Okay, yeah. That's cool. What else is around here? Did the ghast go away? I hope so. So I'm not sure what biome that is over there. I guess we can have a look on the map. Erupting Inferno. That sounds pretty ominous. Okay. 
kind of forgot that there's just like a whole nother world to explore because yeah I don't normally do obviously modded in general but then haven't really been to a modded nether before. So I might do a little bit more mining of quartz for XP and then I'll come back when we're at hopefully level 30. Oh my god. It's coming after me and I don't have any stuff to tame it with, I think. <gasps> I should have brought bone meal. I think it's bone meal. Hello? You're gonna hurt me, aren't you? Yep. Ah! And there's ghosts. Okay. I think I ran away. This no! I don't. Oh my god. Oh no! Watch out, little guy! Oh my god, I didn't mean to hit you. I'm so sorry. No, no, no! Ah. Oh gosh. Oh my god, the fox is after me again. This is too stressful. What is that noise? What is happening? Okay, the sound effects in here are too freaky. Um, what is that? And why is it on the roof? Oh my god, is that like a drop bear? <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm so scared. So there's a piglin there. So I'm thinking I might craft some of these gold nuggets into ingots and try to trade with them. That could be a good idea. Maybe. Also we would love to get some of those crimson. Oh my god, but there's a firefox. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, have some gold. Give me some cool stuff. Could get more um, end pearls this way actually, which would be pretty helpful. I don't really need soul sand right now, but thank you. And gravel is really of no use to me right now. Like a fire res potion would be great, or some yeah, ender pearls. Bricks, cool. <laughs> uh, definitely grab some uh, mushrooms and some different bits and pieces while we're here. I mean, it'd be rude not to. Oh, that one's a bit broken. That's okay. Can see some more glowstone over there as well. I have to make sure I get enough levels that I have enough to also um, teleport home and still be able to do like a level 30 enchant <laughs> as well. So I just have to keep that in mind. Oh my god. What? No! 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 What? No! Get off! Yuck! Oh my god! That was horrifying. Um. What? Okay. Oh, I can see more of them over there. Oh no! Oh no! Is it going to come for me? That is horrific. Wait, what was that? Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, that was horrifying also. Okay, I've had enough of the nether. I want to go home. I'm just trying to find... Oh no, another ghost. Just trying to find my nether portal. 
Oh, there it is. Okay. And you're just like a little goblin guy. Interesting. Ooh, I could buy <gasps> nether wart. Let's do that. Wait, 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 wait. I have, I have things for you. Oh, no, don't do that. Yes. Thank you. That's cool. Oh, invisibility. Okay. So sorry I hit you earlier too, little dude. Okay. Yeah, let's just go home. I definitely need to just get an XP farm. <laughs> the nether is so stressful. I know I'm going to have to go back for other things like blaze rods and stuff. Um, but we'll worry about that later. Okay. We're home and we have 30 levels and some other nether goodies. <laughs> okay, so... What are we going to get? Fortune 3. Should I do it? I think I should just do it. Let's just do it. Hopefully we get other stuff with it as well. So if I put some extra lapis in there. Please, please, please be a good one. Ooh, yay. And finally vein mining as well. That's going to be so good. <gasps> that's such a relief okay that's where i'm gonna leave today's episode thank you all so much for watching hopefully in the next episode i will be able to enchant some more or i might have enchanted some more stuff in between episodes yeah let me know in the comments what you think we should do in like some upcoming episodes i do film these a little bit in advance so it might not always be in order but that's okay <laughs> i still really appreciate your input um yeah so we'll leave it there for today thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye